Hello and welcome to Amakosi Talks. Well, before we get things started on today's video, I will kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and turn on your post notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a new upload. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support. Continue to watch and support the channel. It really does make a difference. Now, on today's video, guys, we're first going to react to the thumping win that we managed to get in our last game where we humiliated our former coach, Gavin Hunt, by a very convincing 4-0 scoreline. Next, we are going to hear from one of our new signings this season, Austin Dube, who seemingly has overtaken Daniel Cardoso in that centre-back pairing with Eric Matoho. And then finally, for some interesting transfer news, we are then going to talk about the rumored possible exit of Samir Nukovic as rumors continue to put a doubt in the player's future at the club. Well, without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it. It is time to talk Amakosi Talks. Now, starting things off, guys, we know what an occasion it was on the day of our last match where we faced Chipa United. Our chairman and father of the Kosi Nation was turning 77. We knew coming into the match on the back of a few disappointing results, we had to deliver and not only because of our position in the league, but also for a fitting birthday present for our chairman. And I can proudly say we delivered. The boys, when it mattered most, delivered a very convincing win and a much appreciated clean sheet to go along with that win. No doubt about it, Keegan Dolly was the star man on the show, although I felt there were a couple of our players who really had a good display on the day, but Keegan Dolly managed to steal the show with two exquisite finishes and an assist to his name. And I must say, it really really felt good to see our team take their chances. I feel since the start of the season, had we been able to convert all those chances that we created, we really could be having a very good start to the new season. Kamo Piliat is another player who really put his hand up in that win against Chipa, and I must say he was very sharp. Every touch and every move that he made, it always showed intention. Him and Keegan Dolly were just back to their old best that we used to see at Ajax and Sundowns. And that can only mean that there is more that is coming in our way. If we can make sure that we keep them fit and playing alongside one another, then surely we can have realistic chances of getting our hands on some silverware this season. Overall, it wasn't the cleanest of games as we allowed too many opportunities for our opponents, with Akpe having to pull off some decent saves to keep us ahead in the match. Another player who had a very good game is Austin Dube. Now, we know that Dube is one of the new faces in that back four. Although he had a rocky start to his life at the club, it seems like he is really finding his feet and making it clear that he is here to compete. In the last two matches, the lanky defender from Ermelo Mpumalanga has showed what he is all about. His positioning at the back is always on point. Whenever there is a block or a clearance, he always seems to be the man at the end of them. After that win against Chipa United, the player has poured on his thoughts on life at the club and his feeling in general about the team going into Sunday's game where we are facing Supersport United. He expressed great gratitude for the great experience of working with his partner at the back in Eric Matoho. In quite a modest way, the player expressed that he is learning from all the centre-backs at the club. Although admitting that he is not yet at the level that he would like to be, he is looking forward to more games which will help him get to where he wants to be. Now for me guys, it is so good to see one of our new signings showing so much confidence in their abilities. At the start, we all hoped that the new signings will be offered a chance to prove themselves. And Dube is one of those who is really taking his chances. 
The new partnership with Matoho at the back has been working so far, but the true test will come on Sunday when they get to play against Hrobla, who always seems to score whenever he plays against us. Maybe after that match, then can we say that 100% sure Eric Matoho and Austin Dube are the centre-backs for the club going forward. And now moving on to another player whose name continues to make rounds in the transfer radar, Samir Nukovic. As we're all aware, there was a lot of talk about him leaving the club after that first season he had where he netted about 14 goals. His name was linked to clubs like Al Ahli and Zamalek. But in the end, the player extended with the club and that put a silence on those rumors. However, recent developments suggest that there remains interest in the services of the Serbian. Sokala Duma broke the story and indications are that the future of Nukovic is firmly placed in the hands of Kaiser Chiefs. Now guys, I know how much we value Samir Nukovic at the club in terms of what he has been able to deliver for us, especially in that 2019-2020 season. In that season alone, he was our go-to man. Everything went through him. He had the goals and he also chipped in a couple of assists to make his mark at the club. However, guys, I know I may be sounding a bit harsh in terms of my analysis and judgment when it comes to Nukovic. But I honestly feel like it would make sense to cash in on Nukovic while he is still of value. Now, of course, we are not expecting to make a fortune if we are to end up selling him. But in terms of finances, this could be money used in going out and getting the right kind of fit for the current team. Now, again, you may wonder why I'm saying we should be open to Nukovic potentially living. But the honest truth is he hasn't been the same since that long-term injury he sustained. Ever since that injury, his form seems to only go down, and with every game that passes by without him recovering some of that best form, his value continues also to go down with him. And to be honest, if you look at the current squad, there is no way there can be a space for him and Leonardo Castro in the same starting eleven. At the very least, the two of them should fight it out for that target man spot. Now guys, I would really like to hear from you what is your take on the future of Nukovic? Do you think the club should cash in on him and use the money elsewhere or do you think he still has a role to play and given the opportunities, he will once again regain that rich scoring form he once showed? Please leave your thoughts and views in the comments section. It will be interesting to hear what you have to say. And there you have it guys, that is all I have for you on today's video. Do remember that this Sunday we take on Supersport United in the DSTV Premiership in what will be a very, very tough encounter. We know that in recent games we haven't beaten Supersport and come Sunday it will be another opportunity to continue on the good performance we showed against Chipa United. Remember to give a big like to this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next upload. Ikosi, Alipe Lumoya.